Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have got another diamond painting haul. Um, so this is my unboxing from Everyday E Deals. They very kindly got in touch with me and asked if I'd like to collaborate with them again. I have worked with them a few times in the past. So I just love this company. They are budget friendly. They've got a great range of products available. So of course I said, yes, please. And um, they've also very, very kindly given me a 10% discount code to share with you all off your purchases from their website. So my code is Marcia10. So that's Marcia with a capital M. So it's M-A-R-C-E-A-1-0. -A I'll pop it in the description box down below and I'll try and remember to do a pinned comment as well. Um, so just make sure that's a capital M at the start of my name and it's Marcia with an E and not an I. Um, yeah, and you should be able to get yourself a little bargain. A bargain on a bargain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got a few things to share with you. I've got four canvases and one off the canvas kit to share with you all so let's get them all out and so yes these have kindly been gifted for review i will be back in the future to show you completions of all of these and i cannot wait and i'm going to feature one of them in a video by itself so we've got a couple that we can't see oh actually i think we've got three canvases and two off the canvas um, projects. Let's just have a little look and see what we've got. So all links to everything here will be in the description box down below along with a link through to the website as well plus my discount code and yeah I think that's it. So check that out and let's get in. What should we start with? We'll start with this. So I'm actually I'm really excited to try this and I've seen quite a few people unbox similar products. I'm just looking to get this up here so I can give you some details about it. Um, so this is a 5D DIY diamond painter mandala wooden round coaster cup cushion. So let's have a look inside. Um, so I've seen lots of these coasters about. I'm going to do a video on this because um, I'll tell you once I've shown you it what my plans for it are. So yeah it's it's a really nice size, so it's wood, which I think is lovely. And we have got this beautiful design on here. There are so many different designs of coasters and things that you can choose. But I just think they look so beautiful. So there's that. You get a basic kit. Let me put those out of the way. Um, just your pink pen, your tray, and some wax. And then these are your crystals. We've got some clears. Gorgeous purple. Beautiful, beautiful blue, just some black resin, and then some pink crystals. So those are the colours, not too many. And so here we are. So yeah, I'm going to show you um, me doing it. And then what my plan is, I want to see if I can then coat it with resin so then it's gonna make it really durable and then it'll give a flat surface for the cup to sit on so this is going to be my experiment i'm going to come back maybe next weekend and um, we'll try that i've been wanting to get my resin back out anyway just to play with so it's gonna be a really good excuse so i'll get this done and we'll do a little video about completing the coaster and then coating it with resin and see how it turns out and if i've got any pitfalls and if I find any like sort of easier ways to do it but yeah we'll give it a go so i'm excited oh sorry guys um drill field is really clear once the camera stops shaking so yeah i think that's gonna look really really pretty really pretty so i'm excited to do that it's just something a little bit different oh let me measure it for you i've got a new <laughs> tape measure <laughs> hooray so this is so it's 10 centimetres across, just over, say so about four inches. And the price of this is just £3.67, which is $3.99, which is €4.11. Obviously, this is just the price I'm taking off the website and exchange rates are changing so much at the minute. But yeah, do check out the website for current prices in your currency plus don't forget you've got my 10 percent discount on top as well so yeah i'm looking forward to trying this um can't wait to give it a go it's just nice trying different things um 
the diamond painting is becoming more and more varied. Don't you think? It's there's just so many different projects. It's not just on canvases anymore. Um, if you'd like to see a video of all different things, and um, you can diamond paint, let me know, and I'll look at doing one of those as well, along with everything else. That I promise you, <laughs> I need to retire. Little sneaky hint. Maybe I am next year. Shh, don't tell anybody yet. <laughs> um, next thing, I think this is another off the canvas product. So we'll get this one and see what's in here. So we have got this. Oh, this is so cute. I couldn't resist it. So I've got some little keychains to share with you. Some key rings. Really, really cute. These are great again for kids. Um, there's just especially if you've got um, if you've got one of your children's round, well, not round. If one of your children has their friends round, you can get one of these little kits and give them one each to complete, and it, it won't be too much for them to do. So we have got your regular kit with your um, keychain attachments. So in here you get. Let me just take a couple out. So you have, oh, hell. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Just dropped one of them. So you get like your little chain along with your lobster clasp. It has a little swizzly doodah on it as well. So you've got one of those for each of your key rings. If it's just such a great little thing to do, especially now the dark, the nights are getting darker, might be getting some bad weather at weekends and things. So yeah, I think it's a great craft for little children, this one. But look at these, they are gnome key rings. How adorable, not too many pieces on them. And they are double-sided. So there's this one, first of all, with a sunflower. Loving it, really clear printing. Then we have, <laughs> One here with daisies. Oh man, these are gorgeous. We've got a little girly one here with some like some flowers in our hat. I love these so much. Um, so this is a bit like the first one, but with sunflowers in the hat instead of holding the sunflower and pink bows. Oh my gosh, just love them. And then more sunflowers here. And I love sunflowers. I don't think I realised they were all sunflowers. I just love sunflowers. I'm delighted. How adorable. <laughs> Let me bring you down so you can see them all together. Whoops. Look at those. I cannot wait to do them. Are they not so cute? I'm going to bring you back up. Whoop. Hopefully that's about where we were. Um, let's look at the crystals. <laughs> I can't wait to do these. I think they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a pain though. Look at these. So we have got all these little slivers that are going to be an absolute pain in the backside to put on. So these are for the petals. Oh, well, needs must. But um, yeah, they're just... If anyone knows an easier way to put these on, let me know because it's so difficult with like a regular diamond painting pen in your wax i'm just like oh anyway it, it'll be worth it we've got a load of clear crystals some red what's well, like a red ready orange hot pink like a mid pink a gorgeous green just some black resin and then some Crystals look a bit, are they sm more smoky grey? Like a smoky grey crystal. Yeah, because so we've got regular crystals there. So you can see there's the uh, regular ones, like proper crystals, and these are definitely more smoky. But I just can't wait, it's going to be fab. Um, approximate size. This I think this blue one's the biggest. Um, from the tip, so that's about nine by. Maybe six. This one again about nine. They're around about nine by six maximum. Um, but aren't they cute? Price wise for these, all of them. 
So five diamond painting keychains, gnome. So five pounds at 51. So just about a pound each one, which I think is great. Um, $5.99, €6.18. Oh, I just think these are fabulous. As I say, yeah, I didn't realise they were all sunflowers, but I do love sunflowers. Did I just say one of them was a daisy earlier? I can't remember, but they're not. They're all sunflowers, but gorgeous. And really clear. And double-sided. What's not to love with that? Um, just brilliant. I can't wait to do that one. I also can't wait till my grandson's a little bit bigger and we can just get him started. There's only two, It'll be three next month. But um, yeah, I can't wait until he's just a little bit bigger. We can sit down and start doing these together. It'd be good fun. Right then, so the next thing we've got, let's look at this one. Um, so it is a full special. I'm loving specials. I just love the bling, I think, and um, it's just a little bit quicker. Um, so this one looks really nice. I actually had it in my basket on another um, site as well. So I was really pleased to see this. We have got a, oh, a regular diamond painting kit, but with some black tweezers as well, the black plastic tweezers. We've got all of our crystals. There seems quite a lot in here, actually. And look at this. Is that not so gorgeous? So it's quite an um, oriental design. You've got your cherry blossom trees. You've got your mountain, ice-capped mountain, probably a volcano, and a gorgeous, gorgeous sun. Um, I'm loving this. This is what it should look like. Here's a little thumbnail. I cannot wait to do this. Um, it's a 40 by 30. And I love it. <laughs> I really love it. I think because quite a lot of these drills look quite big. So it should probably um, work up really, really fast. Nice and sticky. Let's measure it and then we'll have a look at the drills. Oh, is that not gorgeous? There are 13 colours, different crystals, well, 13 different um, yeah, crystals, and they are numbered, and they have the crystal code, and you've just got one um, legend up at the top left. Some basic instructions on the bottom. I love this. I just think it's going to look gorgeous. Let's have a look at... The crystals. So, what have we got here? We have. So we've got some. Are they small or medium? So they can just just your regular little crystals there. Slightly larger crystal. We've got yellows. We've got like a medium sized yellow. A large, who knows? I'm just up oh, number three, so these are both the same. The orange, they're bigger, aren't they? So these must be like the medium ones. Some small yellow, some lovely big blue ones there. Oh, so excited! Small blue, some black, just plain black. Lovely greens. That's a beautiful colour. Some red. Lots of pink. And they both the same as well. Number 12, number 12. Yeah, lots of this one. Oh, that'll be for the trees, obviously. And then a bit more of a hot pink there. Gorgeous. So yeah, we've got like blues, yellows, oranges, greens, and pinks. Um gunning. Let me measure it. So it is so it's 35 
by 25. Price point for this one is, let me get this up. So this is called a diamond painting crystal rhinestone buildings. This is six pounds 43, which is $6.99 which is seven euros, 21. Um, it is really clearly printed. You obviously do have like your circles where you have to place your, your specials, which is pretty common. But at least I'm assuming number one, was that the clear crystals? Yeah, at least they're just on the number ones. So it's gonna be fairly easy to cover those over. But I just cannot wait to see this one done. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. I think it's going to look really, really nice. So, that's that. And I've got... Oh, still got two more to show. This is a really lovely haul. You get um, some, honestly, great, great products. Excuse the crinkles, guys. This is the worst bit of the video. Is packing them away. Everything's so crinkly. Okay, so that's them crystals. Also, just for... Um, storage wise you've got your code on your canvas like ka174 which relates to your drills so you can store your drills separately and you'll still be able to pair them up at the end okay next we have well let's do this one and then we'll save this one for last um i think this is a full round all of these are poured glue. I've never had a, a double-sided um, like adhesive diamond painting. You know what I mean, don't you? Um, I've never had a double-sided one. They've always been poured glue, so I can't compare the two. But I think my preference would always be the poured glue anyway. Um, so this is a quite big. Um, I'm just going to roll it back. Now the canvas for this feels quite soft, actually. Easy to roll. So we have got in here just a regular diamond painting kit with some baggies and a larger um, plate of wax there, which is good. We have got our drills and an inventory sheet, little sneak peek. <laughs> this looks so much fun. Um, Ta -da! <laughs> it is a frog being a little bit cheeky. Um, I actually taught my grandson to do this the other day, um, which is probably a bit silly of me, but yeah, he sticks his fingers in his ears, puts his tongue out, and just goes, na 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 na, <laughs> which is so funny. Um, so yeah, this is just like a funny little frog. I think it'll amuse him once it's done. Um, his pod bedroom at our house is going to just be covered in diamond paintings, I think. Um, Let's just, there's a few little creases in this, just from um, in transit, but I usually store all of mine in portfolios, and by the time I come to diamond paint them, normally they're lovely and flat, and all the creases and things have, have gone. So yeah, I just always say, as soon as you get yours, unroll them and try and store them flat. If you've not got a portfolio, just lay them all flat one on top of each other. Maybe pop some heavy books on top of them. And yeah, if they're flat, they'll, they're going to want to flatten out. So it's just like a bit of a crease on that one there. But other than that, should be all right. I've, I've heard of a few people that iron the backs of the canvases. It makes me a little bit nervous. I've never tried it. So if you've got any hints and tips, if um if that's needed to be done but how to do that do let me know um so we have 20 different colors um the symbols why why oh this is so annoying so the symbols are numbers and letters but look the numbers are offset why didn't they just put one as one two as two instead one is zero two is one Three is two. That is so confusing. Oh, hang on a minute. Three is two. Four is three. Five is four. Six is five. But then there's no six. And then it goes to seven, eight, nine. I'm confused. Then you've got the letters. Okay. Um. So it's... Um. 
I can't think what I'm trying to say. So when it's been rendered, um, it's done as squares. So it's been printed as squares rather than the design being printed on and then them putting the numbers, the shapes on it. Can I even, am I making sense? I'm not making sense at all. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like pixelated, if you know what I mean, because it has been printed in each individual square. Um, almost like a cross stitch pattern if that makes sense that makes more sense to me now um i don't know if that makes sense to you um they look really clearly printed I'm not sure if there's any that i'll be getting mixed up with i often can't tell until i'm starting to to diamond paint and then sometimes they can be quite similar symbols next to each other or similar colors i think we should be okay quite a bit a lot of darkness down here but it looks clearly printed shouldn't be any bother there and it's not too confetti heavy that is quite you know well a little bit but it's not too bad there are still like blocks of color so yeah i thought that looked really cute it's a 40 by 40 i am really rambly um my dog's not well today at all um every few months she has like little she goes quite vacant. I think she has those seven either little mini strokes or um if she's got a tumour, but the, the vets she's been to the vets and they've just said there's nothing they would do and, and she usually recovers within a day or two and they're just like, Yeah. She's just she's just laid there being a bit confused and yeah, sleeping it off. Bless her, so I'm a bit distracted. But this is thirty four and a half by just over 34 and a half but to be fair i'm normally quite distracted <laughs> um cool so let's have a look at the drills for this so yeah it is a pause blue full round we have all our drills here Oh, and they're in the small bags. This is, I wonder if this is quite an old style canvas, I think, with the printing. And these are like 200s, aren't they? These little bags. Um, but we do have the inventory sheet. So you've got the picture of the image. You've got your thumbnail there. You've got your numbers down the side. When your symbols, your DMCs. I think this is maybe how many of each drill you've got and then how many bags of each one that you have as well i think um and i think they always come in like each number has its own strip which is a bit of a i think so for this one it is like eight nine zero so look down here eight nine zero is number nine Um, it makes it a little bit tougher for kitting up but it says there we should have eight little packets. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, so all of the drills are there. Um, I suppose if you only take a few hours at a time, if you've got leftover drills, you will have some maybe left over just in like the little packets. And then um, you've got the DMC numbers on already. So from that point of view, you know, looking for a silver lining and a positive to this style of packaging that's a positive i suppose um yeah so we have got this lovely dark green there's gonna be a lot of greens in this um i'm not gonna even going to try and describe the colors of green i'm just going to show you them because it'd be like brownie green yellowy green darker green lighter green muddy green <laughs> so we'll just show you them and then um, chat about them as we go so yeah that's a really nice color actually i like that here trying to see what the quality looks like they look not bad actually to be fair i very rarely have problems with drills really nice orange oh my god there's a lot of this <laughs> that's all the same shape <laughs> oh. but at least it's a nice color green We've got quite a few black yeah three ten Got a few black. That many. Some more green. <laughs> and more green. Oh, I like that colour too. That's nice. That's a 702. That'd be more useful. Wouldn't it? This is 644. So if you're good with your colours, you'll know what they are. So 644. 
we have 739 ice cream a 704 fabulous lime that is great isn't it and 938 sorry which is like a dark brown 935 913 921 07 that can't be right no it's not there's a number there is that 807 what have we got with only one on 907 is it Yeah, I think that's 907. Yeah, it is. So I keep your inventory sheet, guys, so you can pair them up. Otherwise, it'll be a bit of a tricky situation. Um, 413. It might be worth, like, getting a Sharpie and going over these just in case um, these wear off. I don't know how um, how long this, like, sort of... Um, the print on there will stay. It'd be a nightmare if you'd left them and then you went to get them and you didn't know <laughs> what colours they were. But I suppose as long as you've got, I don't know. I mean, you can count the bags and hope for the best and try and match it up on your inventory. A nice sort of bricky orange. And then this yellowy shade here, which is 3822. Fab. Gosh, that took a while. Sorry. I'm always worried with these individual ones that I'll lose a packet. That one drops on the floor down the back of my desk never to be seen again so before i pack this away i will double check my inventory and make sure everything's there but at least you've got that sheet and if you've got a label maker you could always like cut that off and, and run it through um like your xyron label maker or something i don't have one but um i could just use a strip cut them out and use a bit of sellotape and stick them on to your um your little tubs when you're kitting up so did we measure it did we measure it i think we did didn't we pretty sure we did and we'll just double check and i'll give you the price so yeah it was um 34 and a half so <coughs> this is called a diamond painting oh this is really good actually let me tell this is important i'll tell you this so this is called funny frog now you can get this and I've noticed this quite a bit now on the websites. You can choose whether you want this in round drills or square. And then there are a selection of sizes. So just make sure I get the right price to tell you. So you can get this in either a 30 by 30, a 40 by 40, or a 50 by 50. So I thought, because there's quite a little bit of detail around this face and things, I went for the 40 by 40. But you can get it a bit smaller, or you can get it a bit bigger. And obviously, the, the larger your canvas, the more detailed it would be. But I got the round in 40 by 40. So let me tell you the price. So this is £7.35 for the 40 by 40. Which should be $7.99. Which would be $8.24. Now in pounds, if I wanted to go up or down a size. So obviously, as I said, it was £7.35. To get the 30 by 30, it'd be £3.67. And to get the 50 by 50, it'd be 11 96 So just to give you a, a rough idea of like the price jump there for that. Cool. So that's that one. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all these? Right, let me just wang these very quickly into this bag. I might end up keeping these in a little um, like a zip bag just so that I don't lose anything, any of them because they don't have the, um, the code. Actually, I won't do that. I'll just keep them with the inventory sheet and then we're all right. But, oh, I'm so worried that I'll lose some of these. So yeah, I'll probably put them in a zip, I will probably put them in a little zip pouch. Cool, in you go. Let me put the little sheet in with them so I know what it belongs to. See if I can close it. <gasps> it's ripped. Okay, that's ripped. So that is definitely now going in something. Yeah, that's ripped. I've ripped it. So <laughs> I'm at risk of losing everything. Okay. Final, final <laughs> product for my unboxing today. We're at half an hour, guys. As usual. 
would you prefer to see these sort of like bigger ones split into two videos are you happy just like watching them and as they are just do let me know i do talk a lot so this is a special drill canvas it's quite a stiff canvas um i'm just rolling it back on itself um it's really stiff i think there's gonna be a few little creases and things in this um we'll see so we have got regular diamond painting kit oh i'm happy here are our drills our lovely crystals but look they're in individual baggies hooray <laughs> um and then look at this i just thought this is so cute let me just try and straighten it out it is really creased though that's the only thing but this might be what this definitely needs to be flattened out but when i saw it it just screamed autumn to me really fun very cute this would be a great one as well for um a child to do but look at these little squirrels <laughs> with a little love acorn between them oh it's so cute got your little birds on the bottom and it's a bit like a, a, a mirror image which i think is really sweet so yeah it's sort of mirrored and then um, i just love it is that not adorable absolutely love it so this is a 30 by 40 it has got just one one legend up at the top there are 14 different um crystals slash gems in this you have got a number plus a code let's just measure so you've got like a border here on the outside but then you've got like the actual drill like area because this is like a, more of a partial i mean it's kind of full but there are gaps in between without anything so i'm definitely going to call it a partial rather than a full i'm curious to see if there's glue on these bits oh no there's not there's just glue where it's needed that's good um that makes me happy <laughs> oh i'm trying trying to flatten this as much as i can so let's just look at the actual drill area itself so the background it is about 21 and a half it says it's a 30 by 40 um which i suppose if you use this area to that area but if you're mounting that's 25 which often they are but the actual colored area is 21 and a half and then so like edge to edge here of the border is 34 however the actual area itself is about 30, just over 32 32 and a half so about 21 and a half by 32 and a half. They're not massive, but it's just, I just think it's so adorable. The colours are gorgeous, aren't they? And that is the sweetest little thing ever. Um, so let's look at the crystals. So yeah, they're in individual baggies, which is fantastic. I definitely like this sort of newer way of doing the gems. So let's have a look here. We've got... I don't know if I want to take them all out. So we've got some pinks, yellows, greens, orange, purples. Ooh, what's this one? This one's pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's got like an AB coating on it. Are these numbered as well? Yes, yeah, so they've got the numbers off. Let's just take them out and have a look. Let's have a look. They look really pretty. So we've got some red. Some purple AB, which are a bit bigger, so different sizes and shapes, I think. Just got some regular green ones, some yellow, some light sort of, not quite red. It's more like a reddy orangey pink. It's, ne it's neither one nor the other, but really pretty. Those gorgeous larger orange ABs, they're beautiful. The ABs just make it so pretty. Got some like pearl ones here, some like yellow pearls with a, an AB coating on. So they're smooth. Some orange. Some crystal. Some greens. 
really pale green that's pretty pink to make the boys wink like an amber gorgeous purple beautiful color and some like medium-sized reds are these faceted or domed they're just domed i think aren't they yeah just domed and these bags have obviously the number for the key at the side plus they have got the canvas number mx077 which is good so yeah that's that so i'm pleased to show you actually there's some very pretty um crystals in there some really lovely drills so i think this will look stunning i want to do this fairly soon um, <laughs> i don't know it just really appeals to me i know it's quite childlike but um it's just cute and i love a bit of cuteness um beautiful okay so price for this as i'm waffling on is oh so sweet so this is called diamond painting crystal rhinestone squirrel it is five pounds fifty one five dollars ninety nine six euros and eighteen cool right let's just have a recap again of everything i've got so we have got the super cute lovey lovey squirrels we have the cheeky frog <laughs> just so funny. I'm honestly channeling my inner child here at the moment. We have, and this is a really lovely one. So like that oriental cherry blossom sort of landscape scene. Isn't that pretty? I really love that. We have got the oh, the gnome keychains, set of five. And then we have got that beautiful mandala coaster set as well because well, it's a single coaster wooden backed i'm going to be doing a separate video on that as i say in the future um is that everything one two three i think that's everything yeah so thank you ever so much to everyday e deals for sending me this thank you bella and as i said i have a 10 percent discount code marcia 10 um check the description box for all the links all the details Thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye for now.